Singer, actress, humanitarian, Jane Froman was born in University City on November 10, 1907, to Elmer and Anna Froman. Her parents would divorce when she was five, and mother and daughter would return to Anna's hometown of Clinton, Missouri. They moved to Columbia when Jane was 12, and from that point forward, Jane always considered Columbia her hometown. While her mother taught vocal music at both Stevens College and Christian College, Jane would attend high school at Christian College and then after earning an associate degree in French would attend the University of Missouri's J School. A booking agent from St. Louis saw her in the very popular annual J School Music Review and offered her $100 for a Christmas week appearance. In 1928 she decided to travel further away from home and her mother and enter the Cincinnati Conservatory of Music. While studying there, she landed a job with a local orchestra and made several radio show appearances. She also met fellow performer Don Ross, and he convinced her she was star material. He offered to be her unofficial manager and persuaded her to move to Chicago, where he worked at NBC Radio. In 1933, Jane moved to New York, where she appeared on Chesterfield's Music That Satisfies radio program with Bing Crosby. She was asked to join the Ziegfeld Follies, and she married Ross in September of that year. 1933 and 1934 must have been two of the most exciting years in young Jane's life. She joined Broadway's most popular review when being asked to join the Follies. She befriended the superstar Fanny Bryce, got married, and by 1934 had been voted the nation's top girl singer on the radio. The famous composer Billy Rose, when asked to name the top ten female singers at the time, replied, Jane Froman and nine others. On February 22, 1943, Jane and 38 others took off from New York's LaGuardia Airport, bound for a USO tour for the troops in Europe. They flew on a Boeing 314 named the Yankee Clipper. When approaching the airport in Lisbon, Portugal in bad weather, a wingtip caught a wave in the Tagus River and the plane crashed. One of 15 survivors, Jane sustained severe injuries that included multiple fractures of her right arm, right leg, and a cut below her left knee that nearly severed the leg. Doctors considered amputating both legs. As if that trauma weren't enough for Jane to handle, Froman had given her original seat to another passenger and entertainer, Tamara Dressine, who was killed in that crash. It was an action that her biographer Eileen Stone said would bother her her whole life. The co-pilot, John Byrne, broke his back in the crash, but he was able to fashion a makeshift raft from portions of the wrecked plane to help keep himself and Froman afloat. After convalescing together for months, they found themselves in love with each other. Five years later, Jane would divorce Don Ross and marry John Byrne, only to divorce John eight years after that. Jane underwent 39 operations over the years, and in spite of the pain and the need for crutches, wheelchairs, and leg braces, she bravely continued her career and achieved even more success. She would return to Broadway in a starring role in 1944, and return to Europe to entertain the troops in 1945. For 15 more years of stardom, she was carried on and off the stage when the curtains were lowered. For nightclub shows, she would chain herself to a piano built on a platform with an electric motor to move about the stage floor. She became addicted to both painkillers and alcohol during this time, but would eventually conquer both addictions. From 1952 to 1955, she hosted her own 15-minute CBS television show. This was at a time when TV was entirely new and nearly all of the programming featured male stars. A film starring Susan Hayward was made about Jane's life. Titled, With a Song in My Heart, Jane supplied Hayward's singing voice and the album of songs from the movie became the number one album of 1952. After making more television, nightclub, and Las Vegas appearances through the 50s, Jane would retire to Columbia in 1961. She would marry an old classmate, Roland Smitty Smith, the assistant managing editor for the Columbia Tribune. She played an active role in the community, serving as the state chair for the Easter Seal campaign and sitting on the board of trustees for Christian College. Jane passed away on April 22, 1980, and on the morning of her death, KFRU Radio opened its broadcasting day, as was the tradition for years, with Jane's voice singing the Lord's Prayer. Jane Froman has three different stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, one for recording, one for radio, and one for television. 
Very few entertainment stars have been so honored. No other Boone County citizen has achieved such significant success in the entertainment field. Please welcome into the Boone County Hall of Fame a great woman of talent, strength, and courage, Jane Froman.